in front of a gorgeous rainbow in Uschi, Switzerland. You're watching a show with Zay Frank. Here is an intern. Look at him. Here is another one. He is standing to the side. And now the other side. Here they are together. Two interns. Now only one of them is being filmed. Why is he smiling? What is he thinking? What is the intern thinking? I have interns. I don't know how I caught them. I sat on a toilet seat in Starbucks once without using that origami toilet lid. Maybe that's it. But now I have them. At first there was just one and I tried not to pay attention. But then suddenly there were two. I know, just don't look at them. But it's hard. Zay, there's no toilet paper. Yeah, that's why you wear two socks instead of one. Zay, I need to borrow the camera to make a video. And you know what I said? I said back in my day, not your day, my day, we didn't even have cameras when we made videos. You know what we had? We had a single toilet paper roll and if we wanted to make a movie, we'd wave our hands really, really fast in front of it. Good. Good, now zoom in. And I teach them those things. I know they don't know any better with their fancy phones and their ability to spell check the word diarrhea. But with the wanting to learn everything and the asking questions. Back in my day, you didn't ask questions. At the age of 13, you were locked in a closet for two years and you had to say every single combination of words that existed. Yeah, sure, a lot of it was nonsense. Bumblebee, scimitar, guitar, the, and. But in the process of saying every single combination of words, you also said everything that was true about the world. And when we emerged from that closet, kind of pale, we knew everything. And then, of course, we would get our ritual spray tanning and teeth whitening and be led in a procession down to the ocean where we'd stand in the water waist high, getting battered by the waves and pushed to our knees and the adults standing on the shoreline saying this is how it's going to feel on October 16th, 2012. So stand up and start feeling the rhythm of the waves and rest when you get a lull. Feel how your weight shifts forward in anticipation and how you will fall forward if you anticipate all the time. But that's neither here nor there, it's then. And now William the intern wants to make a video about meeting people for the first time. I asked him to choose a hard topic and he chose that one. And so we started a process, and it's a process that I use when I think about things that are hard for me. First, you start by writing five simple statements of fear in the form of, when I meet people for the first time, I'm afraid that... I fear when talking to people I don't know, I'm going to say the wrong thing. And then five statements of hope in the form of, when I meet people for the first time, I am hopeful that... I hope that when I talk to someone I don't know, they'll understand me. Then the next step is you go back to those sentences, and in each one you identify something that is vague. And you write another sentence that tries to unlock it a little further. For for example, if you said, when I meet people for the first time, I'm afraid that I would say the wrong thing. The next line could be, if I say the wrong thing, then... And you can do that again and again, each time finding something that's vague and taking a small step forward. Being understood would feel like peace. When the thought of being understood comes to mind, I'm reminded of a mountain I used to climb in middle school. And then when you're tired of that, you can go back into those sentences and use the voice of scale, really big or really small. For example, the very worst wrong thing that I could possibly say would be, or the tiniest, smallest wrong thing that I could say would be. And these are all tricks, tricks to find little small kernels of specificity that you can give away as gifts. It's a kind of magic and comes with your willingness to stay in your confusion. So today I'd like you to help William with his confusion. Go to the Help William mission at a show.zayfrank.com. I don't want you to give him advice on how to meet people. I want you to be very specific about what it feels like when you meet people for the first time. What does it feel like in your body? What are you afraid of? What are you hopeful for? And William will read these things and he will make a video, which I will show to you. Ba 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 ba